What's up guys, AC Car Shark back again. Uh, just a quick little intro. Just got back from the Kong off weekend. Absolutely amazing time. I just wanted to show you really quick the merchandise I picked up and then we'll get right into the footage and it'll just end off from there. So I just wanted to say hello first of all and then show you what I got. First thing I got, as you can see right here, is a baseball hat, Team Weeby. Uh, they were selling their own merchandise there. Uh, Steve Weeby, Billy Mitchell, um, Hank Chen, and pretty much it. Um, they were selling all different types of merchandise and everything else, and um, I just want to show you. So the first thing I got was, it was 10 bucks. I got a Steve Weeby, Team Weeby hat. Uh, the second thing I picked up is a DVD, and it was also, I think, 10 bucks, and that is uh, Steve Weeby, and it's, it's the actual uh, recording of his world record breaking game, uh, August 30th of 2010. And as you can see, there's all different kinds of pictures on the back. It's uh, self-produced by him, and it's I burned onto like a DVR kind of thing, uh, or DVDR, I should say. Um, but it's awesome. It, it it literally shows you his entire game uh, when he broke the world record in August of 2010, which at this point is kind of uh, not the world record anymore. But it's just kind of cool to have it on DVD, and you can actually watch him play uh, on your on your TV and stuff. So I thought that was kind of neat. So I picked that up. Um, the next thing I picked up for three bucks was a Kong off. Uh, poster or flyer if I don't drop it first so as you can see it says Kong off it says Richie Knuckles presents that's Richie Knuckles was the arcade it was in and there's the Kong off logo and it has the dates and location and all the people who showed up to play and a little bit of like a bio on some of the players right there so for three bucks I picked that one up again uh, probably gonna frame it along with the um, the wristband that we got to enter which it said Richie Knuckles arcade games on it which I, I cut off and saved so I'm probably going to frame it all together for my game room. Um, I also picked up uh, three different t-shirts. Uh, the first one is from Hank Chen. I had to get something from him. He, he was an awesome guy. Uh, I did meet him and he was really awesome. But the t-shirt, as you can see, he's known as Dr. Kong. So there you go. There's Team Chen with him dressed up as a doctor with, with the, uh, the hammer. And on the back it says Donkey Kong World Record Holder. And then it says for the moment at least. So I thought that was kind of cool. I got that for 10 bucks, And uh, so I got a Team Chen t-shirt. And then I also got, to match the, the hat that I have on, I got a Team Weeby t-shirt. And as you can see, it has the barrels and the hammers and everything else around it. Steve Weeby, I mean, if I had to pick a favorite of my players uh, for Donkey Kong, he would be my favorite. And then uh, the last t-shirt I got was the official Kong Off t-shirt. And it says the Kong Off right there. And it has the same logo and basically the same as the flyer it has the dates and the location as well as the players who were there so i got all that kind of stuff and then the the major the major uh piece of memorabilia that i got i gotta take the plastic off of it to show you guys um there was, it was a limited edition of 117 of these made and what i got was a kong off marquee for the arcade uh it's an arcade marquee which you can put into an arcade machine if you want to um, but you can also just kind of hang it on a wall or whatever you want to do with it. They're especially made for this event. And as you can see, it has, you know, Donkey Kong. It says the Kong off. And it has Mario with the barrels and everything else. Um, if you look a little bit closer on the bottom here, let me see if I can see it. It says 2011 Richie Knuckles Arcade Games. It has the Nintendo logo. And right here it shows it being a uh, limited edition and I got number 46 out of 117. Now the best part about it was that you had all the major people there playing. So the fact is like all the major players are there and they're signing autographs and everything. So what I did was, I'm gonna stand up and show, show this to you. Um, I did get um, Steve Weeby, Billy Mitchell, and Hank Chen all to autograph this, this marquee for me. So if I can stand up here, you can see right there, there's Steve Weeby's signature right over Donkey Kong in a silver sharpie. Over this way is Hank Chen, and then over here is Billy Mitchell. So I did I did get them all to sign it, and as you can see, it does say limited edition number 46. So I did get number 46 out of, uh, they only made a total of 117 of these. So I think I'm gonna try to build like a light box um, out of wood with a fluorescent light behind it, so I can hang it on my wall in a light box and actually have it light up on my wall. Um, but it's pretty cool. I mean, that's that's the major piece of memorabilia that I did order um, and, and pick up from the Kong off. So, guys, I know this is a little bit long-winded. It's about five minutes already. I have a ton of footage to show you. It's going to be in multiple parts. 
So please, um, after you watch this one, make sure you watch part two and part three because I, I did a lot of work to record all this for you guys and I'm hoping that you guys enjoy it. So, um, you know, this, this video is only part one. Um, I'm not sure how, how close together I'm going to release the different parts, but there will be at least two parts, if not three parts, for the Kong off. Uh, took mad footage. I even had my sister in Florida bring up the live feed on the internet of the Kong off and I went in front of the camera and waved to the camera with my camera so that she's taping from Florida of the computer screen of me taping the, the camera. So it's going to kind of be cool and cut back and forth between those. Um, had a lot of fun playing some vintage games. It was a great time. I uh, did witness three different kill screens this weekend. Um, uh, I forget who had the first one. The second one was uh, Weeby and the third one was Hank Chen. I think Hank Chen actually had two kill screens. And the best part about the whole thing is that Billy Mitchell finished in sixth place. Out of 11 competitors, he finished in sixth for high, like high score for the weekend. The world record was not broken, unfortunately. Um, but Hank Chen did get like 994,000 um, when he hit the kill screen. So he was only short by like you know 100,000, give or take. And uh, it would have been cool to see that. I did witness the world record being broken on a game called Ice Cold Beer by a 13 year old guy. 13 years old, he broke the world record. The world record before this weekend was like 170,000. Uh, he got 300,000. So he just shattered the world record. Um, it should be up on Twin Galaxies. I, it was witnessed and it was official. Um, so that should be up on Twin Galaxies. I did witness that world record fall. Um, and it, I just played a shitload of a shitload of old school games and just had a great time. Uh, my girlfriend and I went. She she was having fun playing Frogger and Nibbler and Cubert and everything else. And I had I had some fun with my Miss Pac Man. I did have the world the uh, the, the world record. Yeah, I wish I had the local record for for day one uh, up until about an hour before they closed. And someone beat me by like eight thousand points. So I was kind of pissed that I didn't grab the at least the daily record for for Miss Pac Man. But um, you know, just overall good time, awesome time. So uh, I'm just going to cut now to the footage, and I hope you guys enjoy. Please leave comments below, and please stay tuned for all the parts of the Kong Office. There's going to be at least two, if not three, and uh, that's about it, guys. So till next time, enjoy the Kong Office. This is AC Car Shark, guys. Take care. Mr. Billy Mother 
fudging Mitchell! <laughs>